Hi everyone, welcome to a JY Motion tutorial and today we're going to be teaching you how to make this real simple graphic, just two shapes animating in, revealing our text and a little line in the middle to add some separation. So without further ado, we'll get started. New composition, 6 seconds, 24 frames and then we're going to go to new layer, new solid and then we're going to go into effects and then under effects we're going to go into gradient ramp throw that on there set the start of the ramp somewhere up here set it to radial and set the end somewhere down here and then we're going to do a very very bright blue something like that and end of the ramp we're really gonna make a very very dark blue something like that there we go got a nice little gradient ramp for a cool little background now we're gonna create our text the color of it doesn't really matter because we are going to have it animate in through another shape anyway and we're going to change the color up later so for now we'll just leave it at this neon funky green color and now we want graphic to match up with motion so we're going to set that to maybe like 10 looks about right and then we're going to go into our line tool and set that right in the middle all right now that we have our text we're going to go up to the shape layer here and we're going to draw a crude version of our shape and then we're going to go into the properties set it to something around 1200 basically something around there that sort of matches so but we'll still fit our text up uh, more like 20. cool now we're going to go into our line tool center that up and we'll set the opacity to 50 quick just to make sure that it's fitting everything nice yeah that looks good now we're going to animate it. So to do that, we want to set our anchor point all the way to the left. Maybe. Yeah, and then we're going to realign it. For the bottom one, which we now are going to duplicate this top layer, hold shift and the down button to move it. Check the opacity, see if it fits. Yep, looks nice. And then I'm going to take the anchor point on this one and set it to the total opposite side. So now we have two shapes, both covering our text, both with separate anchor points. So now when we go into our scale property, which we bring up by pressing S, we can animate said scale out of our anchor point and we can get our look that we want. So we're going to unlock this. I'm going to have this one start here at zero. I'm gonna... Sorry. Start here at zero and we're going to animate it in over the course of one second to a hundred. And then we're going to take that. We're going to right click to make it a easy ease. And then we're going to select the tilde button to bring up our whole timeline nice and full on our screen. Then we're going to click the graph editor, plus to zoom in. And we're going to make this a little bit smoother. Set it to something like 15. Drag this up to 40. And we're going to set this to, let's make it even like 85. So now it's going to animate in really fast. Going to make sure we turn on our motion blur. Let's see what that looks like. Nice. Now we're going to want it to happen in some sort of a succession, so we're going to take that. We're going to move three frames in. Or let's go even six frames in. All right, animate that. Okay, now that we have our two animated in squares, we're going to add our third square. So we're going to create another new shape layer by going up to new shape layer. We're going to double click to make a rectangle the size of our composition. We're going to set the roundness again to 20. 
we can make it bigger, 40. And now we're going to keep it, make, give it a little bit of breathing room on both sides and make it really thin. Now we're going to do the scale, but we're going to do it so it scales up at the same time. And we're going to click U to bring up keyframe properties. And we're going to have this one start right about here. That to zero. We're going to have it animate in after this one. Set it to 100. We're going to easy ease them. Bring up our graph editor. Double click it this time because why not? Set this to 15 and set incoming to 85. And now we have something a little bit more like this. So now what we gotta do is we gotta reveal our text. So we're gonna rename this to rename this to line. We're gonna lock it because we don't want to worry about that anymore. We're gonna rename this to bottom. And we're gonna rename this to top. Alright, so we're gonna unlock line and we're gonna bring it down here so we don't mess with it. And then we're gonna lock it, and then we're gonna bring it down bottom, and we're gonna lock that too. Now we're gonna take our two motion graphic layers and we're gonna move them up and we're gonna disperse them. So this one's gonna reveal motion and this one's gonna reveal graphic. So we're gonna set bottom to alpha mat bottom, alpha mat motion graphic, and we're gonna have this set to alpha mat this one. And to make this simpler, we're gonna rename this to graphic, and we're gonna rename this to motion, and we're gonna rename this graphic mat, and we're gonna rename this to motion mat. Cool. So now we have this revealing our text. I can play it out for you. Sweet. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this layer. We're gonna select a color. And we're gonna take that color and copy it. And we're gonna select this one paste it and now we got something pretty sweet but now we want to animate it out so we're going to take them all unlock these right click pre-compose rename to animation motion graphic and now we're going to command D to duplicate it once again right click go to time time reverse layer set it to about here make an even cut plus to zoom in to make sure you got it minus to zoom out so when we play it back we have it evenly animating in and then when it ends it evenly animates out and because we only pre-compose that first part we can very easily change this background by just editing the gradient ramp and then going into our project file and editing our colors. So that's it for today and if you like what you saw make sure to subscribe below and check out my channel for future tutorials and future updates. Thanks for watching.